Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the Taskcraft server. It is episode 11, and today I want to get working on my villager breeder, um, but in my spare time I have been working on like a trading hall, because I was going to go with it for the one that Mumbo Jumbo made, but if you guys have watched me, you probably will already watch him, and that would be boring to watch the same thing twice. Um, and then also there's actually a bug with that, with um, villager um, pathfinding, and it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to come up my, with my own. Uh, so let's go over there right after we uh, do the opener and whatnot. So I know that there's like no break between like the opener and like starting working on things. Like basically the opener was saying, hey, we're gonna be doing this right here right now. Uh, but yeah, still so. Basically, this is what I have going on. So if we put a few villagers in here, um, so I have the calling system already done. So we get this guy, and we can pick his profession by. Oh, that shouldn't happen. I don't know what happened there. Did this guy come down with babies? He did. So let's try that again. Uh, let's call someone, um, and. Here we go. So you choose this profession by obviously getting a lectern and whatnot. Um, and then Frost Walker, we don't want that. Let's just take Aqua Efficiency. Um, so then to put him in the system, you click this. And the plan was to let him basically have like an open area and rename them what they are. So I, I would rename this guy Aqua Efficiency. Um, and that way they can choose any lectern and if they switch, it's not a big deal. Uh, so this was great this would work but this uh, system is also kind of messy and also like I feel like they might have fixed or will fix the pathfinding in 1.15 um, so I'll have to check with that but I don't think that we're gonna be doing this today um, just know that I do have a plan for it so yeah if we want to we want to start working on this later on I mean like we always can uh, so th today, I think I'm going to get working on that uh, Wither Skeleton Farm, though, because we only have one beacon, and I would like a lot more. Oh, we so we're going to be using Design by Tango Tech. Uh, it's a very, very, very easy um, Wither Skeleton Farm, and it doesn't produce a lot of skulls, but, I mean, I don't really want to go all, all out. I just want something nice, good, basic. I'm going to go grab some more rockets, actually, because I want to find a new nether fortress that's basically if possible like in a lava pit that way we don't have to worry about um so many spawnable spaces so that pigmen can spawn and like you know take up mod cap and whatnot uh so yeah we're just gonna do a little bit of exploring now i did run across this nether portal uh, sorry uh, nether fortress and it's not over lava oh oh but that looks good though oh huh okay uh i don't have rockets on me oh my gosh uh but I did uh, see a few uh, wither skeletons, so I started fighting them. And okay, um, uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, we're gonna run. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. Uh, but I found a wither skeleton skull, so I'm very excited. Uh, Sally, this fortress doesn't look like it's gonna be great because it's so high up in the air. Okay, nice. Uh, so yeah, let's go try to find another one if we can. So I found another one and. Wow, those are like really like direct edges, huh? Uh, but I found another fortress, and it's obviously surrounded by a ton and a ton of land. But it's also huge, like it is crazy large, and it seems to be spawning a lot of guys, which is good. So we can just kill these guys off. I think I might make it here. Uh, this is, I'd say, about a hundred, maybe a little bit more, uh, blocks away from. Uh, from my place, not even from spawn, um, but I think, I think this might be the one, so, yeah, I don't have any materials on me to start working on it, though, but I mean, like, the boundaries of this start from here, and go all the way over here, so we can make this super dupe, oh, it goes even all the way over there, so it, it, we can make this incredibly, incredibly long, uh, we just have to be careful about uh, spawning spaces and whatnot, um, and then we have to still have to like block off a lot of the fortress itself. But it looks like there's some more over here that I have not looked at yet. Um, 
not as large though. Let's go for the other one. So I've done some math, and if we want to get the full full length, which is like 200 blocks or something, which is absolutely crazy, um, which I do want to do actually, because I think it would be kind of awesome. Uh, then we have to make this thing. Well, we have to get uh, about four double chest fulls. Wait, let me, let me see really fast. Uh, sorry, two double chest fulls of nether rack, uh, which is like a hundred and twenty something. 20-ish uh, um, stacks of netherrack, um, which is like 7,000 stacks, of, uh, which is like 7,000 netherrack. Uh, so yeah, that's a lot of netherrack. Um, <laughs> I guess we're gonna get like full or shulker boxes and go basically take down eight. Wait, actually, doesn't this stuff make netherrack if like you smelt it or something? Maybe we should do that. No, we should not do that because that would cost about 16 uh, chests of netherrack, which would be crazy. Um, so yeah, let's, I guess, let's take down basically a full nether fortress. Uh, I guess we can start with this one because, I mean, like, we're gonna have to take off a lot of it anyways because we don't need most of it. Uh, let's kill this gas really fast and probably stop for tonight or today. Yeah, we'll get we'll get started on this tomorrow. My first full shulker filled up this one right here, and then I'm working on this one right now. But that's one out of four, so we're getting there. It's a slow process, but eh. So the plan is basically I'm gonna take out as much nether rack or whatever it's called as I can. Oh, 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 oh! Those things are scary. Um, and then I'm going to basically just I'm just getting enough for uh, the farm. And then after that, I'm going to go and um, get a lot of but Wow, there's a lot over there. Uh, get a lot of buttons and just place them so that, you know, these guys don't spawn over on these nether racks. Um, I think that'll work pretty well, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's the plan as of right now. I did get another head, head though, so I'm very happy. That makes two, so if I get one more, we can make another beacon, but... I mean, obviously, I'm making a farm for beacons and whatnot, so yeah. Uh, we'll probably end up selling passes to this farm. Um, so, like, if you pay 20 diamonds, I say, is a fair amount, you can use this farm. Um, I'm doing 20 because, I mean, like, it's not a really large farm. It's not, like, super effect efficient. Um, and also, I don't want to be, like, that guy that charges 60 diamonds for a farm. <laughs> um, so, I think, I think that uh, 20 sounds about right, but... Um, I don't know. Oh, wow, they, those guys just spawned, like, right behind me. That's delightful. Well, I am halfway there, which means that I am already regretting this project, and I don't want to do this. Um, but that's alright. So we're going to fill up these other two shulker boxes, and then we're actually going to start on the platform. Uh, but it's been so annoying dealing with these blazes and the, um, wither skeletons. I really, really dislike the nether. <laughs> done it this is the last shulker box i put all the other shulker boxes back at our base which is a few thousand blocks away um so yeah we should probably go grab those and also grab like a ton and a ton of stone and like make buttons out of them uh yeah that sounds like a good idea so that i don't have to worry about any of these guys spawning um except for where i want them to spawn because that's kind of the whole point of a farm <laughs> uh so yeah yeah, let's go do that. I'm that took me so long. I think it's like the third day, but to be fair, I've like I haven't been doing it much, so yeah. All right. So I wanted to bring four shulker boxes of stone uh or buttons, which sounds like a lot, uh but there's so much area that we have to cover that uh, I thought it would be good, but turns out this is all the stone and cobblestone that we have. Uh which I mean like is a lot. But also, I don't want to transform all of it into, like, stone and then buttons. So I think that we're just going to do two shulker boxes. Uh, so this one I have to go uh, put in the smelter really fast. I would go grab my beacon and whatnot and get more stone, but it's just so much work. And I'm, like, really, really tired. So, yeah, I think we're just going to gonna stick with two shulker boxes for now. Also, if you just want proof, I have this shulker box, this shulker box, this shulker box, and this shulker box. It took forever because I don't have haste or anything, but yeah, I have it. I did it. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> so I'm headed back to the end fortress, um, and I just finished up like crafting up all the buttons and whatnot, 
And then I realized that buttons give you one button per um, per block, but cre uh, slabs give you uh, two slabs per block. Um, so I could have basically just doubled my blocks to make everything uh, not spawnable. But it's too late now because if we look, we have our buttons and we have our buttons. <laughs> So that's delightful. Also, I, it wouldn't have to be stone. It could be cobblestone if I just made it slabs. Great. I'm very happy. <laughs> um, so two things. First of all, we are officially in 1.15. The server has updated. It came out a few days ago. Um, I was just waiting for vanilla tweaks uh, to uh, update too because, you know, I, I need those data packs. Uh, but this is where I've gotten with one shulker box of buttons. We still have one more to go through. Um, pretty good, I'd say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not bad. So we might need maybe three, possibly four shulker boxes. I don't think we'll need four. Yeah, I don't think we'll need four. Uh, but yeah, this is what it's looking like so far, and it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Yeah, so one more shulker box should at least get us, I'd say, like, all this part done, for the most part. Like, this and this. And then maybe just like a little bit more over there. Uh, so yeah, let's continue working on this. So I've already gone through about um, three and a half shulker boxes of buttons. And I'll show you guys that after it's all finished. I think I just need like another shulker box. But I did get three weather skulls, which is amazing. And I'm really, really happy about that. Even though we're literally making a farm for that. Uh, but yeah, still, that's, that's great. I'm happy about that. Uh, so now we can have a beacon over at our base and our starter base. Um, here's the question though, should I like wait and get the beacon later when I have more time or should I um, like actually get the beacon up and running right now that way I can mine easier and whatnot. Uh, I guess I'll need a lot of emeralds for haste too so I, I think I'll just go mine over there. I think I'm finally done placing in every single button. So I don't think that anything that has to spawn on, uh, what is this, nether brick, uh, can spawn anywhere near this place now, which is really, really good. Uh, so now I think we can actually get, oh, I should place that in. Uh, now we can actually get started on the farm, though. So that means placing in just a big row of nether brick, uh, probably higher up-ish. I think that mob spawn... Uh, no, maybe lower you go. I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, I'll do some research. But yeah, now it's just as simple as placing in a big row of blocks. <laughs> we have quite a few leftover buttons, which is fun. I don't know why we'll ever use those again. Uh, but yeah, so I guess we should start constructing, um, like the, the platform that everything's gonna be on. Uh, so... To do that, we should probably just go up into the air. I said I was going to do research, but also I don't really know like what specifically to look up uh, for, like for the specific type of thing. Uh, so we might actually use this. No, let's not use this. Let's go, like, I'd say right here and go all the way. We'll probably bust through this. Yeah, something like that. We'll probably start... Oop start up here right here and go all the way across i think that should be pretty good uh so yeah let's get started i guess <laughs> so here's the thing i have gotten this far uh which isn't much but it is still a good amount of blocks sorry for my clock going on in the background um but here's the thing i just realized that there's like this box it's like this box that goes around the whole entire area of the fortress and I didn't realize it, well I did realize it, I just wasn't thinking. That box also extends on the X and Y, wait sorry, on the Z axis, which is up and down. Um, which means that I actually have to go at about this level right here. So, for anything to spawn at least, uh, which is obviously the whole point of this farm. So, I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to take off all the buttons and use it. I was thinking about doing that, as you guys probably already saw. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the best option. Yeah, alright. So, time to take off- oh, gas. Time to take, uh, the whole thing off, I guess. <laughs> Bro. 
bro. Come on, bro. Seriously. Oh my god. Ugh, what a jerk. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to save uh, many of these blocks. Uh, which is great. That's delightful. Luckily, we have a bunch there that's going to save us, hopefully. And we won't have to gather more. Uh, but yeah. It's, oh my gosh. It's not great. Also, P.S. Um, there is basically this thing going on in my neighborhood currently where Santa comes to town and basically just drives around with a bunch of like police cars and like whatnot and fire trucks and it just makes a ton of noise. Um, it's really fun unless you have a cough and your mom's not letting you go and do it. Um, so yeah, I'm recording a video. But if you just hear a lot of sirens, that's why. <laughs> I wasn't able to save actually like a lot of it. So, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, with all this, it should be much easier, and also it should be, um, we should have enough blocks. So, yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm happy. It's just sad that I placed all these buttons. I'm gonna have to take them down now, and I wouldn't have had to go in to back to my base and craft up even more buttons because I ran out, because I ran out because I had these buttons, but, uh, it's just a mess. But anyways, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is great. I probably made this too long for no reason um but yeah i think we're gonna keep it because you know what go big or go home <laughs> um so yeah this is great and this is gonna be a super fun farm and i'm loving life Ugh. so we have to get all of this from here to Wait one second, wait, 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 almost there. Why are there blazes over there? That scares me. Uh, over to about here, filled in with nether brick. Uh, I don't want to do this. Also, can these guys spawn on this stuff? Because, so, that's not great. That's not great at all. Um, also, this, yeah, yeah, huh, okay, anyways. There we go, our first skeleton spawning on here. Luckily, it's, dope, oh, I did not mean to fly that much. Uh, luckily it's just one and there he goes okay delightful um but yeah things are gonna start spawning on here wish those pigment didn't spawn on here but there's not much i can do about that i don't think anyways it's coming along so we have six blocks going off in this direction um all the way down to the end which is delightful uh so we have yeah quite a lot more to go um yeah this is great this is, yeah yeah I feel like I'm keep on just saying yeah over and over again, but that's all I'm really thinking inside my brain as of right now. All right, that is one sugar box worth of uh, netherrack, and of course you guys know that. Oh, there's a blaze. Uh, you guys know that. Oh wow, I lost stuff spawn. Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, that some of this was already placed here. Um, I just you know generated things, but uh, yeah. So let's go get another sugar box. So the good news is that we are now halfway done with this platform for the farm. Uh, the bad news is that, as you can see, well, it's actually good news because, like, that means the farm's working, but, like, also, it's really annoying while I'm placing in blocks with all these mobs spawning and trying to kill me. Um, but yeah, it's, we're halfway there, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll go start on the other half and try to avoid these mobs. Luckily, these guys are fighting with each other, which is great. <laughs> I mean, seriously, just look at that over there. This is an amazing farm, and I haven't even finished it. I haven't even finished the platform that they're spawning on. Ah, this is great. Oh, by the way, I got, like, another skull and another skull. So, like, my tip, my advice would be if you need uh, beacons, like, if you just need two beacons, I would highly suggest just, like, start building a farm. Like, you don't even have to finish it, just start building it, and that way if you ever need some more later, then you can just finish your farm, and you're gonna get a ton from just, like, starting the farm anyways, because these guys are spawning like crazy. Um, uh, so yeah, that's my advice. I mean, like, it sucks, it's hard, uh, getting all the blocks and whatnot, but, like, if, you're, if you, even if you know you need, like, three beacons, that's, like, it, I still highly suggest getting one of these farms. That being said, this farm is literally, like, making me suffer, and I hate it. I hate making it a ton. I say that about the, a lot of things that I make, but, like, ugh. Ugh. Uh, this, this is just, yeah. It's not fun, but also, like, you should do it anyways, because it gets you a ton of beacons just making it. <laughs> and would you look at that? That is my third head, so, yep. 
uh, I have enough to make two beacons now. Uh, and that's, once again, just making the farm, not finishing it. So, yeah, I'm very happy. You know, I'm just now real realizing that we're also going to need a roof on this thing. Uh, there's no real way around it, so... Yeah, that's going to be fun to make, but we're not going to worry about that as of right now. <laughs> eh... Okay, so I've been practicing my bed wars. It's been a while since I played, but we only have this block left. Oh, oh wait, no, I can't speed bridge. We're in 1.15. I'm used to speed bridging in 1.8. So, yeah, no, we're not gonna go for that, <laughs> especially with lava right underneath. That's probably probably not my best idea. So, like, I get it. We're in the middle of a big project right now, and I should probably be working on that. But like, also. Um, Mikey and, uh, Haxter are both in the end, uh, which means that our ender drag uh, Enderman farm is, like, not functional, basically, because there are so many Endermen being, like, generated around them. Um, so, I decided that it's probably about time we get one of these guys set up, so we get, like, a bunch of them in one place, and we can just trade with them over and over again to get tons of bottles of enchanting. Um... And yeah, I think that we should get started on that now, actually, because we really, really, really need it. Um, here's the question, though. Should we go underground, or should we keep this above ground? I think that we should keep this above ground, actually. Yeah. So, um, I think we should make this out of honey blocks, so they can't jump out, uh, but we can, like, oh, wait, but then mobs are going to come after them. Well, not if we put them in a room. Yeah. Okay, let's go do that, but we need to go find bees that mean Bees, that means... Bees, that means. Ugh. Uh, so yeah, we gotta go and try to find some. Um, which means going out really, really, really far from any loaded chunk. And try to get a bee's nest. I think you can, like, take it with a silk touch. Like, you can take their nest with, like, a silk touch, I think, and the bees will stay. So let's go do that. Well, I found a mushroom island. I feel like that's more rare than finding just a bee's nest. Wow. Okay, well that's fun. <laughs> cool. Why I didn't record it, I have no idea, but we have bees. We have bee nests at least. I'm pretty sure that there's a few bees in each of them. And I just plant a few flowers around. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go make some campfires, I guess, and place them underneath so that way I can harvest the honey. I don't know how this works to be exact, uh, to be completely honest, so that's great. And after a lot of trial and error, and when I say that, I literally mean killing all my bees, um, <laughs> I went out, got a new hive, and I made this little thing right here. Uh, I believe it was designed by Il Mango, and hopefully it'll get us at least a good amount of honey. I'm not looking for a ton of honey, just like a little bit of honey. Um, but we did get most of the blocks filled in over here for our little guys. We'll do that next episode, though. And sorry I didn't show much of me doing all this, uh, but I got sick and my throat hurt, and we're already at time for this video. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really fast, I'm gonna roll my sponsor, but if you- s Wait, 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 before you go, before you go. Uh, if you've, um, watched all of this video to, like, this end, then please just stick around after the sponsor video. Just I want I want to try something, okay? Sticky Piston is the Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server, so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. So I just want to say thank you guys uh, for sticking around this far. It really, really means a lot. That means that you're like a true fan. You're my favorite. Um, I just want to try this. I just want to see how many people actually have like stuck to the end. Um, so if you're listening right now, then go into the comments and just put in the comments hashtag panda. 
That's all I want you to do, okay? And um, we'll just see who's confused, because if someone responds and, like, is like, what, why, why are you putting hashtag panda? That makes no sense. All I want you to do is I want you to reply with this face. It should be showing up on the screen right now, and I'll do that too for any video any comments that I see replying to hashtag panda that doesn't understand, I'll, I'll give them that face too. Um, so yeah, just just try that. Anyways, once again, subscribe, like the video, whatnot, blah, 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 blah. Thank you guys so much for watching though, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Also, sorry if I sound congested. Bye!